Starting tomorrow night, get ready for more traffic headaches on the Kennedy Expressway. WGN's Gaynor Hall tells us what we need to know. A quarter of a million drivers use the Kennedy Expressway every day, and they need to gear up for another round of construction. Starting tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, IDOT says the reversible express lanes will close. They will not reopen until the late fall. The inbound left lane from just before the Kennedy Edens Junction to Montrose Avenue will also close. Drivers should expect to see changing lane reductions and intermittent ramp closures starting tomorrow night, with the inbound ramps at Wilson on the Edens and Montrose and Irving Park on the Kennedy. IDOT officials urging drivers to take public transportation if possible or alternate routes. And if the Kennedy is still your best option, pay attention and slow down. We see high speeds through work zones, uh, the unnecessary lane changes, not paying attention to signs and probably the biggest is distracted driving. Crews are starting early due to warmer temperatures. It's stage two of the $150 million rehab project, this time focusing on the Kennedy's reversible express lanes, improving the access control system and bridge structures and patching the pavement. Work will also begin this week on Hubbard's Cave to paint and install new lighting in both directions. And that means closures on the left lane of the inbound Kennedy from Chicago to Lake, outbound from the Jane Byrne interchange to Grand Avenue and the westbound Randolph Street ramp to the outbound Kennedy will also close through the fall. Gaynor Hall, WGN News. Project started last year on the inbound Kennedy and it'll switch to outbound improvements next year. For more details on the closures, you can head to our website.